so good morning everyone and welcome to the morning call uh, first we we'll start with technical and derivative updates so what we saw on friday session is that post uh, the policy announcement uh, the index did have a sharp rally wherein it tried to when it tried to uh, close uh, uh, i mean pa 17500 but it failed to do so in the post noon session it did witness some profit booking and it managed to close the day uh, on a flattish note even on the sectorial front what we saw is that uh, uh, barring uh, nifty financials and fmcg and it which closed in the green the others closed in the red with nifty auto being the worst performing sector as it closed lower by a percentage point while nifty media metal and pharma too closed lower so uh, the setup seems to be like uh, nifty is trading within this range of uh, 3 400 points where in 17 uh, 150 and 17 500 is a trading range and till we don't uh, break either uh, side of the range on a closing basis we might continue to oscillate in this range with intraday dips being uh, bought into uh, uh, at lower levels so if we break 17 150 on the lower side on closing basis then we might open the doors for 16 800 16600 zones while if we close about 17 500 then further rally can be extended towards 17 800 and 17 uh, 900 out zones even on buying nifty what we saw is that it had a day of two halves wherein it gained in the first half and only to give it all away uh, only most of its gains in the second half it did trade the the psychological mark of 38000 on an intraday basis but it failed to close Uh, above the said levels, so uh, it has been trading in this range of thirty eight two fifty to thirty seven two fifty. So the twenty eighth July gap up area that is thirty seven zero two nine and thirty six eight one zero. This is a crucial support for this positive momentum to continue till we hold this uh, area and uh, we uh, then uh, chances of uh, a further rally cannot be ruled out. But thirty eight five hundred and thirty eight eight fifty are very uh, immediate resistance zones. So uh, this uh, level should be watched very carefully, and we might see some supply uh, from this uh, zone thirty eight five hundred and thirty eight eight fifty. So. Uh, this is what we saw in the uh, bank nifty front on the uh, institutional uh, side in cash market fii did had a net buy figure of 1605 crores while di had a small net figure a uh, net sell figure of 495 crores on the derivative front what we saw is the nifty future who i did saw some long addition that is uh, to the tune of 2% with an addition of 0.24 million shares So now the total outstanding position stands at twelve point one one million shares. Even the PCR OI saw a small uptick, but to close at one point zero five compared to, as compared to its previous close of one point zero three. And from the option distribution, what we can uh, we saw is seventeen three hundred and seventeen four hundred put strike show some addition. Uh, and uh, and uh, the, on the call front, seventeen five hundred and seventeen six hundred strike show uh, sharp addition. So, uh, as per this option distribution, the range for this uh, uh, weekly settlement seems to be seventeen three hundred and seventeen six hundred, uh, with strong resistance near seventeen six hundred because the option, uh, call lighting was very aggressive. Even on the buying nifty front, what we saw is that it did show some uh, long addition to the tune of uh, one lakh uh, contracts. With now that uh, the total uh, out uh, OI stands at twenty seven point one eight lakh shares, as compared to its previous of twenty six point one eight one eight lakh shares, and on uh, the FI's position in the derivative market, the index futures they had a net buy figure of nine zero one crores, index option they had a net sell figure of two three zero one crores, stock futures they had a net buy figure of eight fifty crores, while stock option they had a small net sell figure of sixty sixty seven crores. And stocks that are in uh, FNO band for today's trading sessions are Escorts, Balrampur Chini, and Delta Corp. Uh, while uh, on, in the technical report, uh, we have given a buy call on ICNC Prudential Life, uh, wherein we can buy in the range of five seven six to five eight one. Uh, stop can be placed at five six six. Target is six zero three. So that would be it from my side. I'll pass it over to Vishal sir for further updates. Over to you sir. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, uh, so, uh, starting off with the couple of results which were announced on Friday and over the weekend, uh, State Bank of India reported numbers overall uh, 
I think if you look at uh, company numbers were uh, better than what the state was expecting and overall company at an NI level, they have grown, uh, they have seen a growth of around 30 not percent. And uh, NIMS have also improved uh, on one on YNY basis to around uh, 3.02 percentage point. Uh, both ROA and return wise, if you look at both ROA as well as ROE, uh, uh, I mean, like, you know, it was impacted primarily led by the market losses that M2M uh, with the company has booked, but overall operationally, which is like, you know, recurring uh, business uh, company has reported a pretty uh, good set of number, even on a uh, GNP front. So within the PSU pack, I think if you look at uh, uh, State Bank of India continue to uh, uh, report a pretty strong set of numbers in the previous short quarters, and this has continued in even in this uh, quarter also. Uh, we don't have a rating, but uh, overall a good set of number from State Bank of India. Uh, next, uh, a couple of uh, results uh, updates. So one is... Uh, CCL product, uh, the numbers were 33% higher than what we were expecting and sales have reported a growth of around 56% on one one basis. Uh, there is a volume growth and plus there is has been a pass on of the cost which the company has done. Uh, Bidda was in line with what we or the state was expecting and uh, the note that we have published, uh, we have raised our forecast uh, uh, for 23 and 24, and we are retaining our buy rating. Our revised target price on the CCL product is uh, 542. Uh, next is on uh, 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 Petronet. Uh, so, Petronet uh, numbers were in line, uh, uh, I mean, like, you know, uh, uh, at a PAT level, it was in line with uh, what, what we were estimating. And if you look at uh, companies, revenue growth was uh, pretty higher than uh, the estimate, but uh, the margins uh, were on the weaker side. If you look at non Y and Y and Q and Q and Q and basis, and that's why, like you know, despite a strong set of revenue growth, which is around sixty six percent on Y and Y basis, bad growth was around the ten odd percent. And uh, <clears throat> if you look at um, on the note, I mean the, <clears throat> the basically on the results, uh, I mean like you know we'll be publishing our uh, report counter and uh, currently we have a whole rating on the stock. Uh, Gensar uh, uh, has reported a, a, a pretty strong, a pretty weak set of uh, numbers on profitability front. Uh, I mean, like, you know, though we'll be uh, getting more clarity from the management, but overall broadly, if you look at uh, the revenue uh, growth uh, in US dollar term was uh, around only 1.7% on a quarter and quarter basis. Uh, CC growth was at around uh, three odd percent and uh, there has been an impact on a bit margin. Overall, I think the results uh, were weaker, particularly uh, uh, I mean, like, you know, if you look at in terms of growth and even on the margins front, uh, so we'll update more uh, currently, I think, uh, uh, in terms of rating. So we'll update more post the call, which is uh, scheduled with the management today. Uh, next is on Titan, where we don't have a rating. Uh, overall, I think if you look at the numbers were lower than what the state was expecting. Uh, though on an absolute basis, the number has been uh, a pretty strong on YNWeb. That's primarily led by low base, but that was expected uh, uh, like, you know, uh, by, by the street, the gross margin uh, for this company, it has uh, increased uh, by on YNY basis and even the bidder margin has improved on YNY basis to around 13 odd percent. Uh, company in, in the call with the investors has mentioned like, you know, they continue to target to add around 50 odd tonic uh, stores and uh, company in this year, they have in this particular year till now, they have launched a two fast track I store. Overall, I think the growth rate, uh, if you look at uh, then uh, uh, probably uh, the guidance continue to remain strong in terms of revenue growth, the company is guiding around 20% kind of CAGR uh, going ahead, even on the high base. Uh, though uh, the results uh, were weaker, but overall, I think the guidance point of view, if you look at the company continue to remain uh, strong and continue to guide uh, better than in the coming quarter. We don't have a rating uh, on this counter. Next is on Mariko. So Mariko has reported in line uh, results. Uh, if you look at revenue was up around 1.3 percent in my, my basis, uh, EBITDA margin has expanded by 159 basis uh, to 20 odd uh, percentage point. Uh, uh, I mean, overall qualitative point of view, uh, I mean, though we'll be getting more commentary from the company, but uh, uh, I think uh, what, what we have seen is uh, 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 near term Mariko is expected to report a pretty strong set of volume growth start even in the second quarter of this year as the demand continue to remain strong. Uh, we currently have a buy rating on this uh, counter at uh, with the target price of 610 and we'll update more post the call which is scheduled today. Uh, next is on uh, BPCL, the numbers were uh, lower than what uh, we or the state was expecting. Uh, I mean like, you know, uh, at a bit a bit level, the loss is uh, pretty higher. And uh, I mean, uh, at the PAT level, the company has reported loss of around 6,300 crore. 
which is uh, uh, i mean like you know in you on wine why or any any parameter you look at it was a pretty uh, weak set of numbers with the company has reported next uh, is on lumax so numbers were in line with the what we are est estimating and currently we have by rating but i think if you look at uh, uh, a company has uh, made an mention like you know they plan to raise a qip they plan to raise a fund from the market to exact quantum or uh, the modus operandi is not known but i think i think if you look at uh, within the auto i think the most of the auto oem they have been doing good so and that's where like you know, the benefit is coming to auto ancillary which include alumax so we currently are buy rating on the stock with a target price of 233 uh, next is on subros Uh, the numbers were uh, uh, below what uh, marginally below what uh, we uh, were expecting and uh, uh, the revenue has uh, is up by around 48% on one way one way basis and ebitda margin uh, has uh, in, i mean you know your basis is largely stable but uh, quarter quarter basis is a bit of dip uh, currently in the counter we have a buy rating and uh, currently the stock is trading closer to our target price so we'll be updating more uh, post the call which is scheduled today uh, quickly on uh, other updates uh, which is include maruti has released its annual report so uh, rc bhargava has mentioned like you know company plan to produce around 20 lakh odd vehicle in fi23 and uh, i mean if you look at uh, uh, then uh, fi22 company has done a sales of around 16 and a half Uh, lakh odd vehicles so from there they are targeting around 3 and a half lakh odd incremental which is uh, roughly like around 20 or percent kind of number which they are targeting uh, market share has for the company has declined in fi23 which is quite known but outlook for fi23 uh, continue to remain strong which even on a monthly basis we are seeing company has launched couple of new vehicles so the company will benefit in terms of uh, better volume we currently have buy rating on the stock and the last thing on uh, uh, tata motors so they have signed a definite agreement for the acquisition of uh, ford india sadan sanan plan so with this acquisition the company uh, will see an increase in the capacity overall uh, i mean if you look at then uh, 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 i mean like you know the total uh, uh, units that is being produced uh, from uh, uh, ford motor sanan was around 3 lakh and uh, which will further scale to around 4 lakh and this this particular acquisition will provide a further bandwidth to the tata motors uh, overall uh, manufacturing capacity uh, currently we don't have a rating on the stock but overall uh, i think the positive side of acquisition with the company has done yeah that's it uh, that's all from my side then i'll hand it over to sir now totally yeah thanks and good morning everyone we'll see further more updates HDFC Bank is going to raise near about dollar three hundred billion in NRA deposits, and the deposit would be more than fifty basis point extra over the prevailing range. And they are getting a good response from the middle list side. For the uh, this would be the new list of NRA deposits in the list. Second thing, if we see updates, uh, Godrej Properties is looking to add new housing projects uh, worth fifteen thousand crores. Uh, this fiscal and this would be basically in Mumbai region. And their booking sales have also jumped five fold to twenty five twenty crores in the April June period, and this will be the highest ever first quarterly sales. Uh, Power Grid also said that they are going to seek shareholders' approval to raise six thousand crores through issuance of bond uh, for the financial year twenty three twenty four or twenty four, and this would be the market issuance uh, bond on private placement basis, and this would be done into twenty tranches. Next, uh, last thing, uh, single result update. NMDC reported that earnings, the revenue fell by twenty seven percent at four thousand seven sixty seven crore versus six five one two crore. Their EBITDA fell by fifty five percent at one eight nine eight crore versus four one seven six crore. And their EBITDA margin stood at forty percent versus sixty four percent. And the net profit also fell fifty four percent at one four six seven crore versus three one nine one crore. So that would be from my uh, hand over to Prabhakar sir for more updates. Thank you. Thank you, team. Good morning, everyone. Visaka Industries reported results. A very good set of numbers. Revenue was higher by 37 percent at 4.79 crores, and profit after tax was slightly lower by 4.8 percent at 38 crores. Their uh, this quarter EPS has come at 22 rupees, and uh, they they said you know many units are operating more than 100 percent. So they need to expand. So the company is expanding 72. Uh, million ton per annum uh, in the next 12 months it will come in uh, west bengal at 120 crore uh, thing their ebitda margin is 14% and you uh, know their roof uh, solar roofing is doing very well is what they have said so if that uh, picks up very well then i think that is going to be a re rating for the stock uh, forward the eps it is trading at you know six times the only problem is the company promoter is a ruling uh, ruling party 
no person uh, he is a mla in hyderabad sheela form revenue is uh, higher by 32% at 729 crores uh, ebita margin is 9% profit after tax is higher by 69% at 42.5 crores and eps at 8.73 Uh, we need to understand uh, sheila forms which is making uh, forms bed beddings we call it uh, india australia and spain is where they are present whereas india and australia bro spain was a pain point for them mgl came with revenue they had a very high reve- revenue but we need to understand due to increase in uh, gas prices the revenue can be higher profitability is more important profit after tax dropped by 9% at 185 crores but at current valuation the stock for a long term investor looks very attractive once cng and png prices stabilizes mgl and igl will start to recover nike came with a result so nike result you know it was too expensive company to own uh, their revenue is higher by 40% at 1148 crores and their profit is only 4.5 crores you know and uh, 10 paisa is a eps the stock trades at 1000 times of uh, forward earnings i cannot understand the valuation it is you know zomato or pay, you know paytm will be better because they have a better growth and you know their break even will come faster i think so nike is a very expensive stock even paytm came with a uh, results so their revenue was higher by 89% at 1680 crores and they said loan disbursed by um, paytm was 5554 crores but they reported a net loss of 645 crores rosari bio they came with the results revenue was higher by uh, 87% at uh, 434 crores and profit after tax higher by 19% at 28.6 uh sansara engineering this company reported a very good results now uh, their revenue was higher by 35% at now 532 crores ebitda margin at 13.3% and profit after tax this was higher by 84% at 34 crores now uh, this is one thing to watch uh, there are many reports but uh, we need to understand now uh, state bank of india is one stock if it corrects 4 5% will be an opportunity to buy their profits are slightly dropped it is because of the mtm losses but management in their interview to cnbc they said that you know already you know the due to bond deal cooling down the recovery is 1500 crores so maybe next quarter i think you know things will stabilize and this m2m losses will become m2m profit so i think the state bank you know uh, their gross np and nps has come down i think that is one people need to concentrate i think after sbi research even canara bank and bank of baroda will start to rally so these three psu bank is what we like with that over to you sitija थैंक यू सर गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन तुम लोग एक कॉल को एक बार हिंदी में कर लेते हैं कल बहुत सारे कंपनी के नंबर्स आए थे वीकेंड में भी फर्स्ट अपडेट है एसबीआई के ऊपर एसबीआई के जो नंबर्स आए थे वो ओवरऑल बेटर थे उनका जो बैलेंस uh, शीट है उन, उसने फिफ्टी लैक्स का फिफ्टी लैख करोड़ का माइल क्रॉस किया क्वार्टर वन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी में उन, का जो नेट इंटरेस्ट इनकम है वो ग्रो हुआ है थर्टी परसेंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर जो अभी थर्टी वन थाउजेंड वन नाइन्टी सिक्स करोड़ है और उनका जो नीम्स है वो अभी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो टू परसेंट से इंक्रीज होके हुआ है ओवरऑल जो नंबर से वो आ, अच्छा आया है तो इन नीम्स पे इम्प्रूव हुआ है तो पी एस यू पैक में हम लोग को एस बी आई स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर से पोस्ट किए तो ओवरऑल हम लोग को स्ट्रॉन्ग लगता है इसके अलावा हम लोग को कैनरा बैंक बी ओ बी ये स्टॉक भी अच्छे लगते हैं और कंपनी के जो मैनेजमेंट है एस बी आई के उन्होंने गाइडेंस दिया है कि वो नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर में स्टेबलाइज होंगे जो उनका भी एम टू एम लॉस है वो एम टू एम प्रॉफिट हो सकता है नेक्स्ट अपडेट है पेट्रोनेट एल एन जी के ऊपर कंपनी ने जो नेट सेल्स है वो रिपोर्ट किया है वन फोर्टी टू बिलियन सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर इंक्रीज हुआ है और ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर और उनका जो एडजस्टेड नेट प्रॉफिट है वो सेवन बिलियन है टेन परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है ईयर ऑन ईयर और क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर सिक्स परसेंट से लॉस हुआ है 
तो करंटली स्टॉक के ऊपर हमारा होल्ड रेटिंग है लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए सेंसर टेक्नोलॉजी के भी नंबर्स आए थे कंपनी के जो नंबर्स थे वो काफी मतलब अच्छे नहीं आए प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी फ्रंट के इसमें रेवेन्यू जो है वो डॉलर टर्म में वन है जो वन परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर और ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है ईयर ऑन ईयर और सीसी टर्म में ग्रोथ है वो थ्री पॉइंट वन परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुए क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर उनका इबिटा मार्जिन सेवन पॉइंट टू से इंक्रीज हुआ है ईपीएस जो है वो थ्री पॉइंट थ्री है ओवरऑल नंबर्स इतने अच्छे नहीं आए थे प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी फ्रंट पे टाइटन के भी नंबर्स आए थे टाइटन का जो uh, नंबर्स थे वो हम लोगों ने एक्सपेक्ट किए थे थर्टीन परसेंट बिलो आए हैं जो कंसेंसस ने एस्टिमेट किए थे पार्ट लेवल के फ्रंट में रेवेन्यू जो है वो ग्रो हुआ है वन सेवेंटी परसेंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर और जो उनका क्रॉस मार्जिन ग्रो हुआ है थ्री हंड्रेड बेसिस पॉइंट ईयर ऑन ईयर तो और कंपनी ऐड करने वाली नए वन स्टोर्स ये ड्यूरिंग द क्वार्टर में और कंपनी का टारगेट है कि वो फिनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी में और नए क्या बोलते हैं 50 स्टोर्स तनिष के एंड 50 प्लस कैरेथलैंड के स्टोर्स इंडिया में ऐड करने वाले हैं और कंपनी का प्लान है कि वो जीसीसी रीजन में नए फोर तनिष के स्टोर्स और त्रुटी स्टोर्स यूएस में ऐड करने वाले हैं और कंपनी ने एक फास्ट ट्रैक का ब्रांड है आई केयर कैटेगरी आई केयर कैटेगरी जिसमें कंपनी बॉट करने वाली है तो ये टारगेट रहेगा मिलीनियल पॉपुलेशन के हिसाब से और मैनेजमेंट ने बोला है कि जो रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ है एक्सपेक्ट है नेक्स्ट सी ए जी आर अराउंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट से गोइंग फॉरवर्ड कभी ऑफिशियल uh, कवरेज नहीं है स्टॉक के ऊपर सी सी एल के भी नंबर आए थे सेल्स है वो थर्टी थ्री परसेंट से uh, हमारा जो एस्टिमेट है उससे ऊपर uh, आया है और ओवरऑल उनका जो सेल्स है वो ग्रो हुआ है फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन्टी थ्री मिलियन टन और जो ये ग्रोथ है सेल्स वॉल्यूम में भी वो भी देखी गई है ऑल्सो जो इन्फ्लेशन है कॉफी प्राइजेस में इबिटा जो है वो इनलाइन है और इंक्रीज हुआ है ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर तो ओवरऑल स्टॉक के ऊपर बाय रेटिंग है लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से मैरिको के भी नंबर्स आए थे जो रेवेन्यू है वो वन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर इंक्रीज होके और ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव एटी मिलियन है ग्रॉस मार्जिन ग्रो हुआ है फोर हंड्रेड एंड वन बेसिस पॉइंट से ईयर ऑन ईयर और जो उनका एडजस्टेड पैट है वो थ्री मिलियन है थ्री ईयर ऑन ईयर और फोर्टी से इंक्रीज हुआ है क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर नंबर्स थे वो इनलाइन आए थे जो हमारा एक्सपेक्टेशन था उससे ओवरऑल हम लोग का जो रेटिंग है इसके ऊपर जो नोट रिलीज करेंगे वो पोस्ट कॉन कॉल रिलीज करेंगे बीपी सेल के भी नंबर्स आए थे जो नेट सेल था वो वन ट्वेंटी वन सॉरी वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन बिलियन है जो लोअर आया है फोर्टी वन परसेंट से जो हम लोगों ने एक्सटिमेट किया था उससे इबिटा मार्जिन भी लोअर आया है सेवन फिफ्टी फाइव बेसिस पॉइंट से एडजस्टेड नेट प्रॉफिट है माइनस सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एट मिलियन जो लोअर है सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी नाइन परसेंट से ये मतलब एस्टिमेट जो किया था उससे करंटली स्टॉक के ऊपर होल्ड रेटिंग है बट लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से लुमैक्स ऑटो के भी नंबर्स आए थे ऑटो एंसिलरी कंपनी है जो नेटसेल है वो फोर बिलियन है जो लोअर आया है टू जो उनका एबिटा मार्जिन है वो भी लोअर आया है 40 बेसिस पॉइंट से एडजस्टेड नेट प्रॉफिट है वो 260 मिलियन है वो भी लोअर आया है 5 परसेंट से नेक्स्ट अपडेट है सुब्रोस के ऊपर uh, जो नेट सेल है वो 7 बिलियन है ईयर ऑन ईयर 48 परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है और एबिटा मार्जिन जो है वो लोअर है 96 बेसिस पॉइंट से हमारे एस्टिमेट से नेट प्रॉफिट है उनका स्टूट हो रहा है अभी वन मिलियन जो नॉर्मली 22 परसेंट से लोअर आए करंटली जो स्टॉक के ऊपर बाय रेटिंग है बट लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से मारुति सुजुक के जो अपडेट है उसके ऊपर ये अपडेट है कि कंपनी 20 लाख यूनिट्स फाइनेंशियल ईयर 23 में प्रोड्यूस किए ऐसे जो चेयरमैन है उन्होंने अपडेट दिया है और टोटल सेल है फाइनेंशियल ईयर 22 में मारुति का वो इंक्रीज हुआ है 13.4 से 16.52 लाख यूनिट्स और जो लॉस आउट था क्वार्टर वन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ड्यू टू जो पैंडमिक और जो लॉस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन था शॉर्टेज जो स्टीव सेमीकंडक्टर का इशू था उसके कारण और कंपनी ने फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी का आउटलुक दिया है कि व्हीकल प्रोडक्शन है वो इंक्रीज होंगे और जो अवेबिलिटी है सेमी की वो भी इम्प्रूव हुई है तो ओवरऑल इम्प्रोवाइजेशन होगा जो प्रोडक्शन है उसको एनहांस करने के लिए टाटा मोटर्स के ऊपर एक अपडेट है कि कंपनी ने एक डिफाइनेट एग्रीमेंट साइन किया है जो एक्विजिशन करी फॉर इंडिया जो सानंद प्लांट है उसके ऊपर 
तो ओवरऑल एक एग्रीमेंट है गुजरात बेस्ड जो है उसमें इंक्लूड्स करेंगे वो ओवरऑल एंटायर लैंड बिल्डिंग्स व्हीकल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट जो उसके साथ मशीनरीज इक्विपमेंट जो सिचुएटेड है उधर वहां से और ट्रांसफर होगा एलिजिबल जो एम्प्लॉय है फोर्स व्हीकल के मैन्युफैक्चर करेंगे ऑपरेशन आनंद में और उसका जो अप्रोक्सिव कॉस्ट है वो सेवन करोड़ है सो नेक्स्ट अपडेट है गोदरेज प्रॉपर्टी के ऊपर गोदरेज प्रॉपर्टी नए न्यू हाउसिंग प्रोजेक्ट जो है वन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड करोड़ के वो ये फिजिकल में एड ऑन करने वाली है जो परचेसिंग लैंड आउटराइट रहेंगे और ये जो फॉर्मिंग करेंगे जॉइंट वेंचर्स लैंड ओनर के साथ नेक्स्ट अपडेट है पावर ग्रिड के ऊपर पावर ग्रिड है वो शेयर होल्डर्स ने अप्रूवल दिया है कि वो सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड़ का बॉन्ड्स ड्यूरिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर में रेज करने वाली है नेक्स्ट अपडेट एन के ऊपर नंबर्स आए थे क्वार्टर वन फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी थ्री में रेवेन्यू जो है उनका ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट से फॉल हो चुका है फोर थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सेवन करोड़ उनका एबिटा भी फॉल हुआ है फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट से जो अभी वन थाउजेंड एट नाइनटी एट करोड़ है तो नेक्स्ट अपडेट है विशाखा कंपनी के ऊपर नंबर्स काफी अच्छा है रेवेन्यू जो है वो थर्टी सेवन परसेंट से इंक्रीज होके फोर सेवेंटी नाइन करोड़ आया है पार्ट लोअर आया है स्लाइडली फोर पॉइंट एट से थर्टी एट करोड़ ईपीएस अभी ट्वेंटी टू रुपीज है कंपनी एक्सपांड करने वाली है और उनका जो सोलर रूफिंग का जो है वो सेगमेंट वो भी काफी अच्छे से परफॉर्म हो रहा है कंपनी रिजेक्ट हो सकती है ये लेवल पे और पर ये एक ही दिक्कत है कि कंपनी के जो प्रमोटर है उनका पॉलिटिकल इन्वॉल्वमेंट है वो एम एल हैदराबाद में नेक्स्ट अपडेट है शिला फॉर्म के ऊपर भी शिला फॉर्म के भी नंबर्स आए थे उनका जो ओवरऑल है वो इंडिया यूएसए सॉरी इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया स्पेन में है बट स्पेन स्लाइटली अभी पेन पॉइंट है और नेक्स्ट अपडेट है एमजीएल के ऊपर कंपनी के नंबर्स आए थे रेवेन्यू है वो हाइयर आया है क्योंकि जो इंक्रीज जो प्राइस हुई थी गैस सेगमेंट हाई सी एनजी और पीएनजी की उसके कारण तो अभी लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए स्टॉक ये वैल्युएशन पे अट्रैक्टिव लग रहा है नायका के भी नंबर्स आए थे नायका ये वैल्युएशन पे काफी बहुत ही एक्सपेंसिव कंपनी है रेवेन्यू फोर्टी परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है वन थाउजेंड एटी करोड़ बट पैट का हार्डली फोर पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट से इंक्रीज हुआ है और उनका जो ईपीएस है वो पॉइंट वन जीरो पैसा ही है तो पेटीएम के भी नंबर आए थे रेवेन्यू एट नाइन परसेंट से इंक्रीज होके वन थाउजेंड सिक्सटी सिक्स करोड़ है और उनका जो लोन रिएम्बर्समेंट है वो रिएम्बर्समेंट है वो फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फोर करोड़ है ग्रोसरी बायोटेक के भी नंबर आए थे रेवेन्यू फोर थर्टी फोर करोड़ रिपोर्ट किया है पार्ट भी ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट सिक्स करोड़ रिपोर्ट किया है संसारा के भी नंबर आए थे पार्ट एटी फोर परसेंट से इंक्रीज होकर थर्टी फोर करोड़ है तो ये एक स्टॉक देखने जैसा रहेगा That's it from RN. Thank you everyone for joining the con call. Have a nice day.